It's Ben with Benefit Guy. And I'm out here on a walk trying to get some sunlight in my eyes because basically the first few hours of the sun being in the sky, if you get that sunlight in your eyes, it will promote good mood through the day uh, and help you sleep better as well. So something I'm trying to do. But anyway, I, I wanted to come to you and talk to you about the cold showers that I've been taking for about three years now. Now, the way these cold showers started was I had a job that I was working early in the morning and I wasn't used to waking up early in the morning at this time. I had been a bartender and I had been an Uber driver. So I had trouble waking up and I did some research on like, how can I get up so I won't be falling asleep behind the wheel of this company vehicle since I'm not used to waking up early because I had a job where I had to drive a company vehicle all through the city and it was a large vehicle, um, something else that was new to me. So I can't be sleepy and driving this vehicle that I'm newly learning how to drive. So anyway, so I look up online, all these different ways to wake up and get, get to work on time and, and make sure that I'm wide, uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed when I get there. And so what it came down to was I got to stop hitting the snooze button because when you hit the snooze button, then it puts you in something called sleep inertia. And when you get into sleep inertia, which is a sleep cycle that you decide to go into when you hit that snooze button again and you fall back asleep, you go into a sleep cycle, with, which is about 90 minutes. And so if you go back into the sleep cycle and then you wake up five to 10 minutes later, you're already in the sleep cycle that's gonna last 90 minutes, which is called sleep inertia until you go through it. So since I'm dealing with sleep inertia, <laughs> while I'm trying to drive and I'm trying to wake up on time and get the work bright eyed and bushy tub that didn't work so I'm like okay what I'm gonna do so I decided to type in kill sleep inertia and I came up with the results which were to uh, take cold showers and the cold showers would be something that would kill the sleep inertia and and also wake me up and just get my my blood flowing and get some endorphins going right so get a little of adrenaline so these are some of the things i noticed when i was taking this cold shower that that adrenaline would pump you know i would be shocked and so yeah there you go i was waking up for sure <laughs> ice cold shower in the morning as soon as i wake up so i did that for a while let me see something <laughs> see how this works i just put my phone in my cup Put my phone in my cup. All right, so. <laughs> so we're doing that. I had the sleep inertia. I killed it with the cold showers. But then I realized I kind of like these cold showers because there was something about this victory of making it through the cold shower every morning. I was like, you know what, man? I feel pretty freaking strong knowing I'm one of the only people that I know doing this. And people think I'm crazy, but I feel empowered, right? <laughs> so I've been doing the cold showers for three years now based on the victory I feel in the morning where I feel like I've conquered one of the hardest things I'm going to conquer in the day before I even get out the door. Before I even put my clothes on and get dressed, I've already made it through the most, one of the most difficult situations I'm going to make it through. So you can imagine what kind of resilience that can build, right? <laughs> so that's that. That's where that comes from, you know? Them cold showers definitely help build our resilience and definitely help me get up on time and be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed when I show up to work and when I'm showing up to whatever project or event I need to be showing up to with uh, enthusiasm and uh, accuracy. So, yeah, that's where that comes to. Out here taking this walk, making a quick circle. I'm just walking the neighborhood trying to get myself going. But so some of the things that I noticed that were rough when I first started taking these cold showers were just getting in there. I'm like, man, I, so one of the things I was so when I first tried, I was like, all right, how am I going to do this? So first, when I first tried, I was in a warm shower and I was like, all right, I'm going to see what it, what it feels like to turn it into cold. So I turned it to cold and realized it was rough to deal with. 
started hyperventilating, started shivering, and all the things that come along. Tensing up, my whole body would get tense, especially when you're shivering, right? So, what else? <laughs> so, yeah, that was one of the rough things, was just, just dealing with the, all, the, all your senses kicking in uh, on your body, trying to cope with it. So I was like, all right, I'm not going, I'm not going to just be uh, in the shower and going from hot to cold. I didn't like the transition, I, though I still do that sometimes. Never super hot. I always cool down a little bit on my way to the cold. I don't just go from hot to cold. But so I was like, nah, man, that's like the weak way to do it. Like I mentally kind of like wimping out. So I was like, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run on cold. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the guts and then I'm gonna jump in there on cold and then just go ahead and take it from there. <laughs> like I'm not gonna have a I'm not gonna get in warm water at all. And that's kind of where the resilience really started to pick up for me. Cause when that became comfortable in the norm, I don't know, things just started to change for me, gener uh, like uh emotionally and mentally and yeah, like I don't know. Something changed. I have to touch more on that, but Definitely a level of resilience. I felt like I was a lot more calm and I was definitely more ready to tackle challenges day to day. So that's something that I noticed generally from the cold showers. Uh, definitely noticed my immune system went up. I do have a cold right now and I haven't been taking cold showers like I should be. Uh, so I took one today to hopefully spike my immune system and spark it up. A lot of people will say, you crazy, that's going to make you more sick. Uh, maybe, but probably not because I've been doing this for a little while. But anyway, could be wrong. <laughs> so what else we got? Um, so yeah, how about timing and duration in that cot in the shower? When I first started, it was like, I'm going to stay in there for 30 seconds because the sleep inertia only need, you only need to spend 30 seconds in the shower to kill the sleep inertia. So I was like, as long as I'm in there for 30 seconds and I get it on my head and neck and behind my ears and in my, you know, areas, <coughs> I should be pretty shocked and enough to kill the sleep inertia. But after a while, the victory started to feel good and I started to get those endorphins in that adrenaline rush and I started to get it kind of addicted to that so then it kind of went to a minute and then just getting lost in that cold shower was like like I said the biggest victory and I would just feel like I, I would feel amazing when I got out that cold shower and I still do feel amazing almost every time I'm not almost every time I get out that cold shower I feel amazing so I'm back at my place Got my little walk in, got some sunlight in my eyes. So here we are, making it happen. That's how I'm starting my day. Hopefully I gave you some insight on what it's like to have cold showers on a regular basis. Definitely try it out on your own terms. Let me know how you, how you like it. You know what to do. Hit the like, hit the comments, and hit the subscribes. Get that bell ringing. All right, Ben from Benefit Guy with content and concepts that could be beneficial for you. I'm out. Peace.